Welcome to the new Rock On video. Today we have the honor to be one of the first in the world once again to show you a bike that is essential for the growth of KTM as a company and a bike that has millions of fans around the globe. I'm talking about the brand new 2024 KTM 390 Duke. It has a complete makeover. Everything is new from the engine to the frame, the plastic, the TFT display, you name it. So we're gonna dive into all the features and with no further ado, my dear rockers, here's the new bike. I have been riding the KTM 390 Duke since the day one when they were launched back in 2013. And man, what a difference in the past 10 years. You can see the whole improvements through all the years, like all the details were now refined, the bikes performs better and so on. So if we already see the bodywork is completely changed and this time they went for more premium look and they did it with a multi-layered wet painted plastics with overcoated graphics this time. So it means that the graphics are under the paint, not on the paint. So also that premium looks continues also to the seat. You see also this pattern here and the stitching and this detail here in electric orange, they call it, makes it all premium. And a really cool feature this time, the seat is also height adjustable. So the pattern from the seat continues here to the inner spoiler. We are missing it here because this bike is a pre-production one, means that it, some bits and pieces are still prototype, uh, but this laser engraved pattern looks really nice and makes this bike uh, look premium. And it has also another feature. KTM decided this time to differentiate the 390 Duke from its table mates, the 125 Duke and the 250 Duke by the different tank spoilers. It's longer, wider, and it has also visible air intake, so it looks more aggressive, more stronger. And the next difference is the external LED positioning lights. But listen now closer, guys. They will be also available as a technical accessory for your 125 and 250 Duke. The new KTM 390 Duke comes in two color options. They're calling it the Atlantic Blue, which is this bike here, and the Electric Orange. If we look at the Duke range as the whole, from the 125 Duke to the 390, the engineers gathered a lot of knowledge through the years when we talk about the engine. This time they refurbish it and it's the new generation of the lightweight single cylinders. It's called the LC4C, C stands for the compact, and it's also increased in terms of the capacity. It has now 399 cc and the stroke is now longer by 64 millimeters, which actually means it has more torque in the lower RPM. The head is new, the gearbox is new, and it's also ready for Euro 5 Plus compatibility. The next part that was completely redesigned is the frame. The main frame stayed a trellis frame with a different design, of course, and the subframe is actually the difference. This time they made it out of pressure die cast aluminum, and the whole goal was to improve the agility and the feedback from the chassis itself. We continue with one of the most important parts on a bike for me personally is the suspension. So the KTM 390 Duke comes with a WP Apex 43 mm forks and they have also 150 mm travel. And listen now guys, it has an open cartridge this time, which means adjustable compression and rebound with five clicks each. And on the rear, we have now WP Apex separate piston shock, and it has also five click adjustability for the rebound and a tool adjustability for the preload. It has also a new triple clamp with a new offset, which improves also handling and stability for the rider. <laughs> Let's go. So at first glance, when you look at the Duke 390, you see this suspension on the side, not in the middle of the bike, but this time on the side. This was made possible with a new die cast swing arm out of aluminum and it has now an offset suspension and the shape allows two new things. 
a freshly designed new muffler and a lower seat position. And in general, if you look at the bike, it gives it a more modern feel. Let's talk tech. It shares the new TFT 5-inch display from its big brother with bonded glass. So when I ride, I want to focus what's in front of me, not what my display says. So KTM improved also the animation of the whole new display. So they added nice pictograms to all the ride modes, all the settings on the bike that you can toggle through when you're riding. And also they have, like if you go to the settings, languages, this is really a cool feature. And then we have different ride modes, street, rain, and track. And if I click on track, and I go back to the menu, the track mode changes the screen to a more race focused layout, uh, enlarging all the revs and the lap timers and so on. So all the important information when you are on the track. Let me show you the first feature that shocked me. So it's the launch control and each 390 Duke comes with that feature and launch control actually helps you to get off the line faster. Then we have also uh, motorcycle traction control, ABS with two options, supermoto and road. Quick shifter plus is now optional on all the models, on 125 Duke, 250 and the 390 Duke. Andre, I have an idea because we were talking for a while now. Let's take all the bike from the garage. Let's go to a stun spot. Let's stun the bike. Let's see how it really drifts, stop is. Let's see how the new 390 performs and we finish it off with a few more amazing features. What do you think? It was about the Like, hey, amazing! I could ride it the whole day, Woo. and uh, yeah, you can really feel how much effort the whole KTM crew and the engineers put in the new gen. And amazing, man! All the I, I adjust my suspension front and rear to a bit harder, so I have a better stopping control, and also on the drifts, stiffer suspension is better. So it's amazing that this bike has this already and the uh, lower torque definitely i can feel that this improvement or more capacity and more torque on the lower rpm especially always when you drift you really can play with the throttle and it has enough power and pulling up a wheelie is a bit easier and yeah brake power amazing you can really uh, adjust the brakes super easy and i could talk for days about yeah